Hi, I'm Benedict Clark. Um, I played young Severus in the final Harry Potter film. Oh wow! Um, so I really like I really like soup. That would be an important start, of course. Something really wholesome. Maybe leek. Maybe. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go leek potato. Maybe like a broccoli soup or something like spicy as well is quite nice. Anyway, that's the starter. Um, and then um, um, a fish course and a meat course. Maybe for the meat, a duck. Roast duck is good. Pudding wise, blancmange to keep it French. Um, um, or um, treacle tart. I'm a big fan of. Yeah. Oh. I think, yeah, Grimmauld Place, I suppose, is more homely, that kind of sense of being a family with the Order of the Phoenix is quite nice. But also, like, I feel, yeah, you want to try both, but, like, in terms of actually spending your Christmas, you want something that's sort of more close-knit. Okay. Um, I think, I think you want Lupin just because he's so lovely. I would want Lupin as, like, an uncle or something if I was a kid. I think he's such a, sort of, yeah, avuncular figure. Um, he'd definitely be there. Dumbledore, obviously, I think he would just be fascinating to see what like what he gets up to at the Christmas dinner table because we don't really have a sense of what he is. Obviously, as a family man, we don't like find out about you know his brother and the hog's head or anything until really late on. We don't know about that. I want to know what Dumbledore's like at Christmas. You got those two, um, Ginny, because she's just like really good fun um, and sort of like you know takes no nonsense from everyone. I think she like if anyone was sort of really annoying or gets really sort of political at the table, she would just like take them down. Um, and so I've got an extra person. Who have I got? Lupin, Dumbledore, Ginny. Um, Neville. Let's have Neville. Um, that's really tricky. I wonder if something that's sort of floral, because we have this scene when I, that's like the first time that she realises that Snape can do magic, at least how we show it, is that I pick up this flower and magic it over to her out of my hand. Um, and so, um, um, that's not really, I don't know, something something to do with flowers, because that's quite a, a nice link back to our childhood. Um, I'm going to take a random guy from Beau Baton. 